Hey everyone, the Damo is here once again with another Boom Beach video, and it's a very, very exciting time because, as you can see, we are upgrading our headquarters to level 23, which is I'm super pumped about that. But anyway, we're not here to talk about the update today. We are focusing on our standard War Factory Day video. So we're gonna be hitting War Factory. We're gonna be taking a quick look at my other accounts, and then that is gonna be it. And then in another video, which I'll probably release later on tonight. We are going to be doing some HQ23 related things. So, let's just jump straight into it. I have... My instant training is currently working. It wasn't earlier, so that's why I delayed doing this video. So, we are going to be jumping into War Factory with our standard warriors. Now, I'm currently rocking eight offensive statues. I just put down two resource rewards, so we're going to see how that goes. And I think I'm just going to... What am I going to do today? What am I going to do? <clears throat> it's not crazy on the HQ. 561. Pretty manageable. In terms of shocks, we've got a shock there. Maybe a shock on that. And then... Actually, it's like three shocks. Lasers out of range. Maybe four shocks if I want to do those. Hmm, so I guess what I'm going to do is, let's do something slightly different. Normally we just stick to the Warriors. We're going to do that, but we're going to bring Spark with a Universal Remote. And I think what we're going to try and do is reduce shocks. So, if we can get rid of those two little shock launches and these mines, I think that's going to set us up pretty well. So let's just try and do that. There is a lot of grapples over there. That is crazy. All those rockets going to be a pain. <clears throat> All those rockets range. Damn. Alright, so let's go drop and drop. So let's go down here. Alrighty. Let's get into a nice little sweet spot. I hope I'm swung to the smoke there. Nope. Nope. Oh, come on, man. That was so stupid. Alright, well, I'm guessing I'm going to just send warriors down there. I didn't have time to waste doing that. So let's go smoke. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we're getting pretty tight on the gunboat. So we will get a flare onto there. And then we'll get a shot going down in just a second right now. As long as we get these two shock launchers taken out, which one of them is taken down, let's get the other one, clear some mines, so that is pretty much all I wanted to do anyway, so that worked out pretty well, so let's drop that there, drop that there, oh well, so let's try that again, shall we, so maybe I'm just going to try and take out some of these some of these mines that are going to be annoying to deal with maybe maybe not all right let's go let's from universal remote some of these rocket launches we'll bring ever spark all the way up into here now i'm not the best at hacking but uh you know we, we'll get there we'll get there so we'll drop Artillery there. <clears throat> Gonna shock, not shock. We're trying to do a triple hack if we can. There we go, triple hack. Is it gonna work? Is it gonna be enough damage? Come on! Go, go, go! <clears throat> so close. Hey, but it worked out in the end. So that's pretty good. Now, I think we're going to just jump straight into a little core rush. So, let's have another quick peek before we jump right into it. So, in terms of shocks, we don't need the back one anymore. We probably just need one here, because the uh, machine gun and the flamethrower might do a little bit of damage. One up here. 
and then one on these, and then I think that's going to be it, because everything else is going to be out of range. So there is a small bug, it seems like, on War Factory. On uh, Zedmot's video, he has hot pots down here. I think it's like hot pot, hot pot. That's supposed to be a grappler. And anyway, I guess I opened mine before the update, and he opened his afterwards. So he's got HQ23 things. So he's got, you know, level 23 sniper tower. I think some of his mines were high level as well. So, you know, some people might get a different war factory, but I think most people will probably, I guess, open theirs after the update. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue. But yeah, just a little heads up that there might be a few different war factory layouts popping around. So just keep an eye out for that. So, we've got 524 left on the core. Oh, I just didn't want to didn't do it for Spark. Right. So we go smoke and smoke. Let's just gather everybody onto this little crate up here. <coughs> now, in terms of a walk, I guess we're just going to flare down to that. Little, uh, little gap there. And then let's turn and get onto the HQ. So, 38 left. Still pretty good. And this should throw a hack out for fun. Got one shock, two shocks. Let's see what we can do. So, we are eight, eight statues. Offensive. Doing a little bit. Oh, yeah, I ran out of shocks. I didn't shock the, uh, the rocket launchers. That's a bit stupid, isn't it? So, you got half of it down. We'll make sure we bring bullet this time. Alright, so I think that's attack number three, if I'm correct. Yeah, so we've got two left. It's definitely not our finest war factory attack, but, uh, you know, we're getting the job done. I've got bullet back this time. And we're pretty much just going to do the same thing. I just need to make sure I am... I'm just getting used to the little bit less gumbo energy. Gumbo and damage is what I had before. I had a 13% damage. And then a 17% gunboat, which I got rid of to drop down some resource rewards, so. Got to be a bit cheaper. Oh, that's a bit of a gap, isn't it? Oh. So get that there. We're going to taunt going. Going to get rid of this. Get that shock there, that shock there. Med kit. And then that should be it taken down, I believe. There we go, come on, come on, come on, and that is it. So that is War Factory taken down for the 20-something, I don't even know what the date is anymore, I think it's like the 27th or 28th, maybe, I'm not, I don't really know, anyway, that's War Factory, I think the overall layout's going to be pretty similar, it's just going to be a few prototypes seem to be in a different spot if you opened it, you know, if you're one of the first people to get War Factory, you might have a slightly different layout than the others, but... It's all going to be pretty straightforward. I'm glad that I had instant training back, because otherwise that would have been a bit of a disaster. So, let's jump over to one of my other accounts. We're going to have a quick chat about that. So, I will be right back. Alrighty, so we are back. So, this is my single player account. Now, we are still digging away at this. Oh, let's zoom out a bit. Still have not opened up any areas of the map which we will which would spawn PvP. It's all these NPC bases. NPCs and Dr. T. So we're we're doing pretty well. It's slowed down a lot the progress. As you can see, we are just shy of XP34, which would give us another uh, HQ level. So I think what I'm gonna do is over the mega crab, we get we're supposed to get uh, the extra builder and instant training for free for three days. So my goal is to get, you know, 140 XP by then to be able to upgrade my HQ with my uh, Mega Crab resources. So that is the goal. It should be doable. I don't see why it wouldn't be. But yeah, so we've just started to... Most of our storages are max for my HQ level. So I think the only thing I can do is the gold, but the gold's kind of expensive. I am starting to notice now that it is getting a bit more difficult to save for these more expensive upgrades. So I just did that to uh, level 8, or well, I'm doing that to level 8 right now. But you know, some of these things are just like, it's so expensive now. Like, I've been doing my uh, sniper towers, which are, you know, it's nice and cheap. But when I'm trying to do these, like my uh, sculptor, I've been wanting to do this for ages, but there's just, it's just so hard to save that amount of loot. 
So what I'm going to do is when the trader gets here, well, I guess this weekend I'm just going to try and smash it out on this account. Go for the mega crab. We're going to try, you know, we've got three resource rewards. Maybe I'll try and boost them. I forgot the, yeah, so I got 53 powders. I'll try and boost them up, get as much as I can, take advantage of these extra builders, and then see if we can smash out some of these big upgrades. But I can't remember how long it takes for to HQ 15. I'd have to look that up, but yeah, we are, you know, we're getting there. It's, uh, it's fun. I'm still enjoying it. It's, like I said, it's pretty easy because all I have to do is, like, log on. As you can see, I just get these NPC bases. Every couple of hours, one will spawns. Take it out easily with warriors. We'll just do one right now for fun. And yeah, oh, we've got a level 23 sniper tower on this supplies. I don't know if that's, is that new? Hmm, maybe. All right, so let's go and just jump on and take this out. So we're going to go shock right there. Let's see if we can get rid of that mortar out the back. It's going to be expensive. All right, so let's go over here, get rid of that sniper tower. Over here, get rid of that sniper tower. Yeah, that was kind of cool to see uh, a level 23 sniper tower. Let's get rid of that mortar. But yeah, I don't really have to worry about troop losses too much because... I don't know, because I'm pretty much... Like, only really attacking once every couple hours. So I can attack... Even if I list, lost all my troops right now, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Oh, that's taken ages. You know, that, it wouldn't be that big of a deal because I can just, like, you know, start retraining, log off, go do something else, come back and hit the next base. So I don't really have to worry about troop losses too much. The only time it gets a little bit annoying is with Dr. T. So I can normally get the first three stages pretty easily now. Sometimes I can get stage four. But, uh, yeah, it gets annoying when I'm trying to, like, smash at a Dr. T session and it just, uh, it just doesn't work out. So that's pretty much my life on this account. I just log on, attack, jump away, and then come back. We're slowly climbing up in VP. I was hovering around 100 for a while, so I've been pretty lucky with some of my uh, attacks. Because sometimes I get two, yes, yeah, so here at two VP there, one there, one there, one there, one there, two there. So I get a lot of twos, not a lot, a few twos here and there, which is pretty good. But uh, yeah, everything's just coming so much harder to, to come by. Like, I'm spending wise, it's harder to come by now. I've got to be more. Just think ahead a little bit and focus on the things that I really want. But uh, yeah, that is it for this account. We're going to pop over to my newest account, have a quick chat about that, and that will be it for the video. So I will be right back. Alrighty, so this is my newest account, and this is the one that I'm going to call my Clash of Clan style account. So essentially what I'm doing with this one is I am maxing everything out before I upgrade my HQ. So my last HQ level, going from 6 to 7, took so long. It was so long and boring and frustrating because I... I don't know, I don't know what it was about it. It just took so long to upgrade these annoying little things. And then I was struggling to get some good spawns on my map, so I was struggling there. And also the storages were crazy low. So I was sitting at like max gold for ages. I wasted so much when I was attacking some of the, these player bases, like so this guy's got, he's got 40 odd, somebody had a, a crazy amount, maybe it was one of these ones, but I had like, you know, 40 and 40 and, you know, 10,000 stone and I wasted it because, you know, my storages weren't high enough, but, you know, we're still popping away at this, it's, uh, it's an interesting style, very, very slow, it gets a little bit frustrating sometimes, but, you know, I'm still... Still cracking along, trying to get done what I can. But uh, yeah, no, I'm in, I'm enjoying this as well. It's uh, it sort of plays well into the or plays well with the other account because I can log on to the other one, hit a few NPCs, come over here, I take a few bases, do a couple upgrades, you know, and be sort of on my way. So this is the you know the Clash of Clan style account. We're still gonna dig away at this. It's gonna take forever, absolutely forever to. Uh, Let's get that going, actually. It's going to take forever to, uh, you know, even get close to maxing this out or even get something good going. So, we'll just see how we go. This is, uh, you know, like I said, I think I've got like eight accounts or something else. So, to have a, an account which is like slow and annoying like this, it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, anyway, I just wanted to show off these two accounts, sort of give you a 
update on my progress. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. So keep an eye out for my next video, which is going to be HQ23 related. We'll be doing some fun stuff with that. This has been the War Factory video today with the uh, base updates. So I hope you all enjoyed it. If you're new around here, please consider subscribing. Leave a like, leave a comment. I always love reading comments and replying to comments and having a chat about that. So, you know, if you feel like leaving a comment, please do. I will greatly appreciate it. And yeah, I will talk to you all in the next video. The demo is out of here.